Hi, I'm Tony here for Grow It Yourself Gardens. Today I'm going to be showing you how to clone some of your everyday uh, household plants such as tomatoes, whatever you want. So if you'd like, let's uh, get started. Well, what we're going to do first is we're going to mix up a gallon of water, clean dechlorinated water, with five milliliters of Clonex solution. This is for soaking your cubes. This is also the food for the plant. And this is all the food you should give it. It doesn't need much, it'll take off on its own. So this right here is everything. This will start it, this will soak your cubes, and it'll feed your plants. When I get my bubble, I like to get the strainer tray, as you see here. And I also like to get an extra bottle. Now you'll find two reasons for that. First off, it's great for soaking the cubes. And secondly, it's great for feeding the plants when you need to feed them. You can dip them, soak them, drain them, put them back in their bubble, and they're good. Normally when I'm cloning a plant, I like to clone a plant that's about 18 inches tall. At this point, the stalks have grown nice and stiff, and they'll poke through anything on their own. And we're gonna leave everything small in here to grow up on its own again. And you can take from that as well. If you find that you kink your plant as you're putting it in, you can either recut it or throw it away. I am going to throw it away just because I want all my plants to be the same height. Now, if there's any low uh, leaves or if they're close to the rock wool, you may want to go ahead and trim them off now. And if you find that your foliage leaves are too large and are choking out the other plants, you're going to want to go around the leaves trimming the edges. This will stunt the growth yet not kill the plant. Now that the plants are inserted into the rock wool, um, you're going to want to take your propagation bubble and you'll notice that you have little uh, vents up here. For the first three days, I like to keep my vents closed. This is going to cause moisture to gain on the inside of the bubble. That is a good growing environment. Now, you can't keep it too wet. So for a half hour to one hour a day, for the first three days minimum, I want you to take this bubble off and leave it off. Now, if your plants start to sag at, at a, any given time in that half hour to one hour, don't stress, just put the bubble top back on. Now, I recommend you have at least a three foot two light fluorescent. And if it's just the two fluorescents, I want it right over the bubble top. You can also use the fluorescent curly cues in a light fixture. You'll find that these bulbs use less energy, but the curly cues will give off more light than the fluorescent. It doesn't take a lot of light to clone. It just takes light 24 hours a day.